Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and The Flash, issue number 66. We get a... I thought this was supposed to be a whole new origin for the trickster. Eh, I guess they tricked us? <laughs> they tricks, tricked us? Uh, it wasn't, wasn't bad. I still enjoy this, but this whole issue was just a, a new revamping of the uh, trickster's origin. First, let's get into this. Afraid of Iron Heights. Yeah, you see what they did there? They did that in the comic book also. Uh, but Rogue pro Profile for the Trickster. Joshua Williamson is the writer. Scott Collins is the artist. Luis, Luis uh, Guerrero is the colorist. Steve Wands is on letters. And the cover. Okay, you're kidding me, right? Rafa Sandoval, Jordi Tarragona, and Tommy Omore. They did that cover. And the variant cover is Tim Sale and Brendan Wagner. All right, I'm just going to get right into this. So <laughs> we get... Uh, Jeez, they got a, a, a different understanding of why Trickster, uh, James Jesse, got so many of his tricks from. Uh, was, he was playing a long con on a scientist and eventually sold all that tech to Luther, but not before he learned a whole bunch of stuff, including his air walking shoes. In his, excuse me, <clears throat> in his original appearance, which you can get in the, uh, the, um, the Mar uh, Marvel Masterworks. What what are the, what are the, what are the masterworks that DC has? Whatever they're called, in those you can actually see his his uh, origin there. Uh, he devised the the air walking shoes in order to trick people to think that he was a great acrobat. Here he already is a great acrobat. It's not just the idea that he was you know good back then, but he was unbelievably good here. He's naturally unbelievably good since he was a kid, um, revamping on the, the Flying Graysons to make it the Flying Jessies. Uh, what do you call it? The um, They acted like they were abusive. I mean, like, it, they, the, the, the show was incredible. I'm just like, holy crap. This is like a uh, uh, Tales from the Crypt episode where they're going to kill this kid because they just didn't like him. They didn't trust him. They didn't believe him everything man and right in front of audiences they were abusing him nobody goes up and stops or just hey leave that kid alone oh somebody talked i guess i should obey no you got to get up and physically make someone stop like dude <laughs> this was this was sick this was sick so anyway um uh yeah to give uh slightly new takes on the origins there and I genuinely enjoyed this comic book. The Flash was only here as a backdrop in, uh, you know, remembering certain things in, in uh, flashback. Flash and flashback, imagine that. But um, I still love this. This was a top-notch issue. I can't wait to see more from the Trickster at this point. Before I was like, oh, cool, the Trickster. Okay, let's see what they do with him, but he's getting kind of boring, whatever. Here, they almost directly, like, fourth wall breaking address that. His tricks have gotten old. Now, are they actually going to do something about that? Dear Lord God in heaven above, merciful Lord, I do hope so. But until then, I'll just go say um, this was a good issue. <laughs> anyway, guys, looking forward to what they're going to do with the trickster in the future, even if it's going to take several uh, issues to get there. I'm really looking forward to what they do. All right, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.